Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the December 1st, 2017 edition of Colorado Inside Out Post Game, a special web exclusive production here on Channel 12. I'm Dominic Zudi. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let's get a quick take on Denver's changing restaurant scene. We have a lot of news this week everything from In N Out Burger coming to Colorado uh, to the Wazi Supper Club officially uh, closing to become a different restaurant, uh, happenings with Chipotle. There's really a potpourri of restaurant news going on here. Uh, Patty Calhoun from Westward. Uh, Westward is all over this with, with a lot of different announcements this week. Uh, take your pick from all the big news we heard. Well, the Wazi Supper Club is the one that really meant the most to me. One of my favorite office was on the second floor above the Wazi, and we'd sneak down to get beer and pizza late at night, and they'd yell at us because we weren't supposed to use that staircase. But it was such an era of Denver, early 80s, before that area was even known as Lodo. So the fact that it is changing, and not just changing hands again, at one point Hickenlooper owned it, uh, but it is going to be owned, it's going to become a French restaurant, a bistronomy or bistro, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's <laughs> going to become enough. a French restaurant. So that, you know, that's dear to my heart that that's changing. The funnier stories is that, you know, that In-N-Out Burger is going to come gentrify Denver for us. In-N-Out Burger, the California chain that people have wanted just like they wanted Trader Joe's, like we don't have grocery stores here and we don't have burger joints here. But In-N-Out Burger is coming and people are going wild over that. They're going to have a distribution center in Colorado Springs, which will enable them to have a 500 mile radius for new in and out burgers. And the real homegrown re chain, which is Chipotle, with Steve Ells, which Steve Ells founded close to 25 years ago, he is now going to step down as the CEO, but still remain on the board. David Copel from the Independence Institute and DU Law School. Uh, lots of happening here. Mm -hmm. You can take your pick from everything from a, a longtime restaurant closing to developments going on, and it, maybe even just the reaction. I mean, d d Twitter in Colorado just about blew up yesterday with uh, just the mention of In N Out Burger. Uh, your thoughts? It, when I found out about In N Out Burger, it wasn't what, what the name indicated, so uh, I, I don't know what to think about that now. Um, <laughs> You've completely lost interest <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I will. I want to say something which some viewers will say I should have said long ago and more often, but at least I'm saying it now for this topic. I have nothing intelligent to contribute. <laughs> Despite the levels of things that you've said, I think mean, that we, we probably have heard that from a couple of our but viewers I want to before. Give some general <laughs> restaurant advice to our viewers. Good, good. General restaurant advice from David. People Cole. work in restaurants. Work hard. Be a good tipper. You know, you, if you can pat yourself on the back for like sending a letter to Congress or like you care so much about social justice or kindness, whatever. Put that into practical reality and be a good tipper when you go to a restaurant. The people need it. Here, here, as a, a former server before I was full time here, uh, it's astonishing how much you can. It, 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 it's, a, it's a great uh, spectrum of humanity when you see how people tip. So that's a very good advice. Eric Solomon, political analyst. We've seen a lot of big issues here, and some that kind of tap some raw nerves around Colorado. But uh, take your pick everything from the in and out announcement to Wazi Supper Club and everything in between. Well, I'm first struck by the fact that we just cut the 21st, 25th anniversary one hour special you need to go back and recut it and get David's <laughs> quote in there <laughs> David's uh, da 25 year late vow of silence on one topic it needs to be part of that part of that show uh, I, agree. I don't know I, I don't know I have a ton to add I'm going to be brief because I'm getting hungry just sitting here talking about this but uh, I mean I'm with Patty the Wazi is brings back a lot of nostalgia a lot of fun times when all of us were um, much younger I remember going there this would have been early 80s maybe maybe turn of that decade um, Denver had a pro volleyball team for a very brief moment of time the Denver Comets and t until I don't remember the details and somebody needs to fact check this but I think the whole place got raided one night for a coke bust um, <laughs> and the irony was there were coca-cola signs all over the stadium and whatever it was it was very fun but it was uh, during that particular cocaine uh, period of Denver's history but and we would always go to Wazi before games and what have you um, in terms of in and out burger uh, we have some family in California, so when we go out there for occasions, uh, I'm in a minority in our family because my wife insists on going there, our kids insist on going there whenever we're out in California, and I don't get it. It's just another burger joint. I do not get the infatuation. It's completely overrated, but for everyone who is uh, dying to have in and out burger come to Colorado, well, congratulations.
It reminds me of the Fury, uh, the the Fuhrer that came up with uh, when Steak and Shake announced they're going to have something, or yeah. when Freddy's came out. Like, oh my gosh, it's, 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 it's unbelievable! It's a hamburger with some onions on it. <laughs> I'm pretty confident people have had something like this before. But uh, Penfield Tate, attorney with QTAC Rock, also a longtime state lawmaker. I don't want to uh, begrudge your comment. Let's see what you think. Whether it's hamburgers, Wazi Supper Club, Chipotle, everything in between. The, the, po the, the buffet is open, sir. <laughs> well, uh, I will say the Wazi Supper Club was a neat joint to hang out at, um, you know, back when you're in your 20s running around Denver when uh, there was actually downtown nightlife um, with the 3-2 the environment during that period of time. It was sort of one of the edgy places to go uh, toward the end of the night. For the rest of these places, I don't know. I don't go there. If you want a hamburger, cook your own hamburger at home and enjoy yourself. It's probably healthier for you anyway. I'm with David. <laughs> That's the, the extent of my intelligent conversation on, <laughs> on the topic. <laughs> our, our two lawyers just absolutely uh, uh, giving the, the shortest comments here. Uh, I will add a quick comment just because we talked a little bit about it on the show, but I have a personal family connection with the Wazi Supper Club. It was actually founded by my grandfather, Albert Rotola, and his business partner, James Capalupo. The two of them were the ones that converted from a plumbing warehouse, of all things, to the Wazi Supper Club. They named it, that's what it was, and it was officially known in our family as, as the joint. Uh, they, the, my mom loves telling stories about when she was pregnant with me, so it was a long time ago, uh, going down there and getting lunch. And that's in, the, uh, in 1974, that's when uh, my grandfather and, and uh, uh, Uncle Jimmy, as we've always called him, uh, sold it to the owners, the, the same folks that own my brother's bar, the, uh, the Greeks as we knew them. And they did a fantastic job with it for decades. And they were, uh, of course, the ones that uh, helped found it as a, the pizza joint. But uh, as I, I told Patty yesterday, it, it just seemed very Denver 2017 that a pizza joint that has been around Denver for decades uh, will now be turned into a French bistronomy, as uh, uh, Patty turned out. That seems just very uh, Denver 2017, but that's progress. And that is all the time we have for CIO Post Game this week. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. For everyone here at CPT12.org, I'm Dominic Dizzuti. Thanks for watching.